Here's the new Fire TV Stick 4K Max. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. So really quickly out of the box we get the Alexa voice remote, we get the Fire TV Stick itself, we have an HDMI extender, we get two AAA batteries here for the remote, we have a power adapter, and we have a USB cable to give this power. We also have a quick start guide here as well. So the first thing we're going to do here is grab the Fire Stick and we're going to grab the HDMI extender. Now this here, I mean, if you have this, you should go ahead and use this. Uh, Amazon says that the best performance for um, Wi-Fi in your remote to go ahead and use this. Also using this is um, you can have like uh, problems putting this into HDMI port on your TV. It may be um, it may be kind of difficult to put in. Anyway, if you have this, just use it. Okay. So first thing is we're going to connect this to this part here like this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in the power cable which is the USB cable here. So let's go ahead and grab this and it's a micro USB end there. We're going to plug that into the Fire TV stick where it says power right here. We're going to pop that in. Now take note that also comes with a, um, a, a wall adapter here. Now they recommend you actually using this however if you have a problem can't find an outlet or, or whatnot you can actually try to plug this into your open USB port on your TV as well. The only thing is you may have issues. Uh, for example, you may have issues of doing a software update. You may get something on the screen saying there's not enough power to use your um, wall adapter. Anyway, if you have issues with the uh, no outlet around, you can always try the USB uh, part first. Okay. Anyway, so they do recommend using the AC adapter. So I'm going to plug that in just like this. Okay. Now... I almost forgot to mention, but in regards to this Fire Stick here, you can go ahead and use this on any TV. It doesn't matter if it's a smart TV or a non-smart TV, as long as it has an HDMI port. You can even use this in a computer monitor or even a projector, as long as it has an HDMI port. Okay. So I'm going to plug this part into my HDMI port in the back of my TV. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that right in there, just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. So I'm going to plug in the AC adapter now. Next, go ahead and turn on your TV. Now make sure you go to the correct HDMI port, okay? I think mine is on HDMI 1. Alright, that must be it. So now I'm searching for a remote. So what we're going to do now is going to put in the two AAA batteries into the remote. Okay, so go ahead and grab your remotes. And you see the arrow here, it's pointing this way. So just put your thumb on here. You want to slide it out like that and put your two AAA batteries in there. Make sure it is in correctly. So let's pop this in here and let's see if it finds it right away. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. Okay, it says press play, pause to start. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press on this right here, just like that. Now, if you have an issue where it didn't find it right away, what you can do is just press and hold down the home button. Hold it down for about 10 seconds and then see if it found it. If it still didn't, pop out the batteries, pop it back in and try again. Okay. Anyway, it should be paired now. Yep, it is. So from here, go ahead and choose your language. I'm going to go with English. Fire Stick is restarting now, installing, installing latest software. So just be patient here while installing the latest software and do not unplug the power during this update, okay? So just be patient here. It's restarting now. Now it's downloading the latest software. Now from here you have to go ahead and sign in with your Amazon account or if you're new to Amazon you need to go ahead and create an account. Now the thing is, some of you guys that bought it off of Amazon, if you didn't uncheck that one area where they say keep all your credentials for setup, if you didn't uncheck that, then you can bypass all that. It'll automatically know your Wi-Fi and all that. But I unchecked mine so I can do everything uh, manually so that you guys can see. Okay, anyway, so I have to go ahead and um, I have an account. So let me go ahead and sign in. So make sure I have an account right there. Go ahead and click on OK on the remote. So from here, it says sign into your Amazon account. You need to first go to this website, amazon.com, front slash code, and then you need to go ahead and put in your activation code that you have on here. Now, you can use a computer, iPad, tablet, or you can use your phone to go to that website. I'm going to use my phone. So I'm at amazon.com, front slash code, and let me go ahead and go from there. 
Now let me go ahead and sign in to my Amazon account here. Okay, and now from here they're asking me, this is where I put in my code. And my code is, was a D-A-Y-J-N-F, D-A-Y-J-N-F. Click on continue. Your registration is complete. You can see the TV automatically starting to move here. And it says, welcome Virgil. This Amazon Fire TV stick match will be registered to your account. So I'm going to go ahead and go with continue here. But like I said, if you guys bought it on Amazon, you didn't uncheck that, all this is already um, saved for you, okay? So you don't have to go through this. Now I get this message here, restore Fire TV. It looks like you're an existing Fire TV customer. Would you like to restore your Fire TV with current apps, privacy settings, and parental control settings? Because I'm doing this video, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. I'll do everything from the beginning. So I'll go skip right there. Parental controls, you can go ahead and enable this or disable this. Okay, up to you. I'm going to go ahead and disable it. Preparing your remote for setup. We'll be playing music during the next step. Please make sure the volume is turned up, then continue. Okay, so make sure the volume is up on your TV. You have to grab your TV remote, not your Fire TV remote. Just make sure the volume is up. And then we're going to go ahead and go to next. So I do hear music. So now with your Fire TV remote, go ahead and move the volume buttons up and down. Okay, it's working. Okay, so did the volume change and come out of the expected audio receiver? Yes for me. Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. Let's click on OK right there. Okay, so from here, now what I can do is I can start downloading the apps that I want. You know, I want Netflix, uh, even Prime Video here. So let me, let me click on Prime Video here. And then, okay, they automatically down Prime Video, but uh, the other ones like uh, Netflix, Hulu, all that other, you will have to click on it and then you're gonna have to uh, go ahead and download it like you can see right there. Uh, other apps and stuff like that you wanna download that's not on here, just go all the way over here to the right. Click on that, and you can go ahead and do a search. Like I'm going to um, need Disney Plus as well, or you can go down to the app library right here, and you can do a search for all the apps that you want as well. So pretty simple. Looks like we're all set up here. Any questions or issues, just comment below. All right, good luck, guys.